Hey guys, you are here today, and I want to show you. Today, I want to give you an overview of what Microsoft Outlook is. And Microsoft Outlook is a great, great, it's actually a pretty great program, uh, and it's really helpful in the world of technology and you know stuff like that. It's basically a you can organize your email stuff, contacts, uh, calendar events, tasks, anything like that on this one program. Now, a lot of you most likely have it, whether it be the old version or the new version, and you just haven't really know what it is or how to set it up, stuff like that. So first off, I'm going to give you an introduction of an introduction, I should say, of what it is, and I'm going to show you how to set it up with one of the most common uh, clients that's easy to set up with, and that's Gmail. And I'll get into the other emails uh, throughout. But first off, it's a like I said, it's an email client. You can go open it and go right there, Microsoft Outlook. Now there's a some people like to use a Mozilla Thunderbird, and that's cool. Uh, it's a great alternative made by the people who made Firefox, the Mozilla Corporation. Now, uh, like I said, it incorporates email, and you can check email while you're offline or online. You know, it's great to respond to mails. Like if you have if you have internet connection down, you can just respond to mails, save them, and then send the draft later on. So you can get all your email integrated through here. Uh, you can get you can set up calendars. You can set up you know all your events right there. Contacts, whatever it may be, phone books, whatever tasks, and much much more. You can set up with Exchange servers. You know for businesses, all that stuff. And you see it has a lot of features up here. PDF, all those stuff. IMAP, and um. Uh, so when you first open it up, it's going to ask you to set up, you know, your name, all that stuff, and it's self-explanatory. And it's going to show you, ask you to set up an email. Now, if you use Gmail, this is really easy. Now, first, let me explain to you why it's difficult more with Yahoo and other stuff. First off, uh, Yahoo actually, uh, Yahoo uh, actually, their I'm, I believe they use IMAP. Cost money for them to actually use their server on Outlook, on Outlook. So if you want to use it on Outlook, it actually is going to cost money to. Uh, Using on, uh, if you want to use Yahoo serv Yahoo's email uh, integration server through uh, Outlook, it's going to cost money. Hotmail, uh, which is HTTP server, they stopped using incorporating. Now that's in my version. This is, I believe, 2003 or five. I'm not sure, but uh, there, there's if you're using 2007, there's probably way more updates. Now, uh, like I said, you can probably find it just by going to your Start menu. It should be your default email program unless you change that. But anyways. Uh, for Gmail users, it's really easy to set up, and the great thing about Gmail, they Google made it free access for their uh, IMAP or pop filter, uh, you know. So this is how you set it up. Just go to your Gmail client and go to uh, settings. And if you're using OS X's mail program, this should be self uh same. Just you would have to set it up uh, the same way. Just go to forwarding and uh, forwarding pop and IMAP. And then you're just gonna make sure dis disable forwarding, but make sure you want uh, your pop is enabled. That's very very important. Now, if you want to use IMAP, you can do that. Uh, I use pop. Uh, I enable. You can enable pop for all email, even if it's a download. It's already been downloaded, or you enable pop for that arrives from now on. So if it's already in your inbox, or you already have, uh, you know, if it's already in your inbox, and you want everything there, or everything from this point and since until you. Uh, from the point you activate it. So when messages are accessed through POP, keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. That's the most important thing. So you have a backup copy if you lose the email. Or you can archive it or you can just delete it if you want to keep a clean folder. Now so you can now you can uh do it right here from configure it and just configure it if you want or if you, with Outlook, Eudora, uh you, you can use Eudora, whatever, just pick your settings. And I'm just gonna click 2003. If you have 2007, go ahead and do that. So you're gonna enable Pop and Gmail. That's what you just did to configure your 2000 client, your client. And you may have to install updates now. If you want to configure the client, it's just gonna tell you to uh, set up this stuff right here. And uh, so you're gonna want to go into it. And I, I think I, I might have used the G IMAP. Yeah, I think I did use the IMAP. So I'm just gonna show you the properties real quick. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so. Well, it's going to ask you to set up an email if you have it, if you already have an account on you can just go if you want to add your Gmail uh if you already do have your account I believe you just have to go to oh sorry I had an RSS update you just want to go to uh tools uh email accounts uh add or view you want to view one if you have if you have a uh, haven't added it already go ahead and add it I'm just going to view cuz I already have my Gmail updated there now there's my Gmail. It's IMAP/SMTP, and I'm gonna 
double click that just to change and then here you have your name your your email your username and then the incoming server if you're going to use imap it's imap.gmail.com and then uh, for the outgoing server it's always smtp.gmail.com now if you're going to use pop it's pop.gmail so uh, it's all on the page here uh, I'll, I'll, you can just check it out just go to your gmail help center settings and it's all there now again if you want to use imap imap.gmail pop.gmail not really a huge difference. Then you just you know go on from there, and then everything will be set up. Now, you're, but you're also going to make sure you go to more settings, outgoing server. Make sure my outgoing server requires authentication. Use the same settings as incoming server. Uh, that stays the same. And advanced. Uh, I believe you want to set this to a. Uh, I think they gave me the number 993 and 465, and you make sure these are both checked. Uh, you just want to make sure these are both the server ports are both checked for incoming and outgoing and mine's set to 99 993 465 it gives you the recommendations on the help center or you can just set it to 993 and 465 so guys that's how you set up gmail like i said yahoo uh for their service cost money and they i believe they stopped in this version uh using http servers that's uh, hot, that's what Hotmail uses to integrate email. Now, if you get your own Exchange server and other stuff, that just enables more features. And I'm sure there's much more features with the newer versions out there. I, sh I am uh, looking into updating. So, um, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically Outlook. Now, if you if you're looking for something more, you know, you want something more user friendly, more advanced, open source, or uh, I guess you could say open source freeware. Uh, I would look into Mozilla Thunderbird, a great program. Just go to your go type in Google and then wait for that go to and then go type in Mozilla Thunderbird and it should be right here reclaim your inbox so that's from where you download Firefox basically it's an open source uh, sim you know keep your uh, email and all that stuff organized and you know all that stuff it's great it's I haven't tried it out but uh, from what I heard it's great the interface I have seen it is pretty user friendly but some people prefer Outlook over that and if you're using the Mac if you want a free alternative if you don't like mail uh, you can use uh, Eudora it's up to you but anyways guys um, uh, if you are using ma mail program on OS 10 basically the same so you have to enable forwarding pop and Gmail and set it up the way you would in mail anyways guys that's all for today hope you enjoyed this tutorial tutorial and like I said guys it's a pretty great program if you're a heavy power user so I would definitely look into it and expect more tutorials guys with the uh, outlook I'll be uh, integrating more tutorials on calendars contacts stuff like that anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed